When I first received the Mosho Toys Ashura review unit from Toy Marks, I was pleasantly surprised at how big and heavy the box was given that this is a 1-6 scale figure. This is probably due to the die class in the frame and also a very big base included in as well. Now as you can see from this particular footage here, I am quite impressed in how Mosho Toys actually pack all the styrofoams between the armor and also the joints to prevent damages or scratches during transport and handling. So a very big kudos to the team and Mosho Toys because I have not seen such a detail and care that goes into the overall packaging. Now the Oshura actually has a very nice semi-gloss finishing on the red, white and gold. I really like that because that means that you will not get fingerprints sticking across everywhere on the armor when you're trying to pose and play with it. Now talking about posing, let's talk about the articulation on the Ashura. I was actually plentily impressed by the available articulation because frankly speaking, I don't really know that one six scale figure such as this can have that many articulation. Overall, the one six scale figure of Ashura is almost the same size as a 160 scale perfect grade Gundam if you want to compare sizes. But as you can see overall in terms of all the moving mechanism, in terms of the app crunch, I was not really expecting that. That's actually quite impressive with a lot of moving parts on the torso as well. Now, the shoulder as well can actually move pivot quite far forward as well and also in terms of the shoulder armor it can also extend out quite far so that when you are playing posing moving around there is a lot of room for maneuver for the arms of both left and right of the Ashura without having the right shoulder armor or left shoulder armor getting into place there's a lot of gimmicks inside the shoulder armor as well as you can see there's like a devil armor face on the shoulders on the Ashura that was something that I was not really expecting so there's actually quite a lot of playability that goes into this particular 1-6 figure. What I also like, I've not shown here yet, are all the claws on the shoulder armor and also on the arms. Those are all detachable so you don't have to worry about breaking them because you can remove them when you're playing in case you want to change the arms or when you're doing some very intricate posing, it will not be an issue. The thing that I was quite impressed with was the master grid like moving joints on the leg. So when you're trying to bend the knee, actually a lot of the joints and the armor are also moving along at the same time. And what was surprising to me was when I was posing for the Ashura, I actually did not need the base at all. Ashura actually can hold its pose pretty well even on one leg stand if you choose to do so. But as I mentioned, you can do a lot of articulation movements on the legs, arm. Uh, the overall leg movement is quite impressive, just like a mask grip when it moves, all the moving armor plates move at the same time as well. Now, earlier in the video, I did mention that there's actually quite a lot of hidden details hidden behind the joints. So as you can see, when we are moving the legs to show off the knee, all the exposed armor parts actually has a lot of intricate details and nicely painted parts as well that you can see. So I'm not going to show you everything. So for buyers of the Mosho Ashura, I will let you guys discover on your own on all those very nicely painted details when you are moving the joints and you're painting them along. One other nice detail that has been included as additional accessories is the hair. So you can actually move the top part cover of the Mosho Ashura and use a included detail extension of the hair so that that hair is actually quite flexible so you don't have to worry about breaking it. So there's two ways to pose for the Mosho Ashura look, whether you like it with or without the hair. I personally prefer to pose it without the hair because it has that uh, Gundam Axia look to it. So maybe that's just my own preference. Now, the Mosho Ashura also comes with quite a lot of weapons and accessories and that was something that I really love. Not only are the weapons in huge scale and size and also quite detailed as well, but I was not expecting to see some very nice gimmicks that was included into the big giant axe and also the sword as well. So let me go through first on the axe. On the axe itself, you can see there are the devil faces on both front and back. And you can, when you extend the axe, there you go. The mouth actually opens 
on the axe. So that is actually a very cool axe spear in, uh, weapon that's included for the Mosho Ashura. And for the sword as well, there is a very nice gimmick and also another hidden face on the um, wrist guard there as well. Sorry, the sword guard as well. So it's quite nicely detailed, the overall paint job. And this is the gimmick that I was talking about. Once you push it in, the additional um, small little stabby things come out. So you can actually attach that together with the small sword, just like what we see from God of War. Initially, I was like, holy crap, how do I actually tie this in? But surprisingly, Mosho actually taught it quite well. You can actually just swivel open the particular chain and loop it in so you can attach it to the big sword that we have seen earlier. Now, the effect parts are also included in addition to the hair, the sword, and the axe as well. And that is what I really like about the Ashura. The biggest item next to the Mosho Ashura is actually this huge, huge base plate, which I've not seen before, included for a one scale, six scale figure. And this time around, I was actually blown away by how big it was. So just to show you how the effect parts work, so as you can see, you can remove all the claws on the shoulders and on the arms, and once you attach all the effect parts in, the pleasant surprise that I had was that, hey, the effect parts are actually not very rigid. You can actually bend and pose them any way you want to. So that is a very nice inclusion and thought through process by the team at Mosho Toys. Perhaps if you're still undecided if you want to get the Mosho Ashura, well, let me tell you that this particular guy is only going for 700 ringgit. I was actually quite surprised at how low the price was, given that this particular Mosho Ashura comes with a inner diecast frames, a huge base plate, all the effect parts, and also all the gimmicks, as we've seen from the articulation movement on the joints and also the gimmicks on the weapons as well. I was not really expecting this to come in at such a low price. So if you're keen to order this, we'll put a link down to Toymark's website where you can connect with them to pre-order this item and also their Facebook page where you can contact them if you have any queries at all. Frankly speaking, I say that this is an extremely great value for money given what we have seen when we are filming this particular product in our studio, we were really quite impressed with the engineering and also the overall finishing to it. We didn't see any defect and perhaps if we say that, hey, can you at least tell me something that you don't like? Perhaps the only nitpick that we have here is that they did not include the AG1 battery for us to showcase how the heads actually light up in the unit itself. So we couldn't find an AG1 battery anywhere. So maybe we'll show you another video on that separately once we manage to locate the AG1 battery to showcase the LED lighting on the head itself. But till then, please connect directly with Toy Marks to pre-order this item. Frankly speaking, it is an amazing value for money. Coming in at only 700 ringgit, 1.6 scale slash almost a perfect grip, 160 scale size. It is pretty amazing value for money given the amount of amazing articulation and gimmicks that you're getting for this guy. Till then, we will see you guys in the comment section below. If you're new to our channel and you want to see more like content like this, do let us know and give us a like, okay? Till then, Happy New Year 2024, guys.